All right, welcome back to Math Smash. In this video, we're going to be looking at the associative property of addition and multiplication, along with an example question at the end. Here we go. Vocabulary. Our first, vo first vocabulary word is the associative property. Well, that's what this video is about. So by the end of this video, you should understand what the associative property is. Our next vocabulary word is add-ends. In this case, 5 plus 3 are both add-ends because you add them together and they will give you an answer or a sum. Sum. The sum is an answer in an addition question. So in this case, the sum is 8. Factors. Factors are two or more numbers which, when you multiply them together, give you a product in a multiplication question. The product. The product is the answer in a multiplication question. In this case, 10. And finally, brackets, also known as parentheses. Any working out that appears inside brackets must be done first. So, the associative property is a rule that applies only to addition and multiplication. It's often confused with the commutative property. The associative property is concerned with grouping numbers using brackets. So here we have some brackets, so we have to make sure that any working out that it is in the brackets is done first. So 3 plus 4 gives us 7, and then we copy down the plus 2. So we have 7 plus 2, we add those together, will give us 9. Okay. Next one, we copy over the 3 plus, so we have 3 plus on the second line, and 4 plus 2 gives us 6, so now we have 3 plus 6 gives us 9. Okay, so the rule for the associative property says that the way add ends are grouped will not change the sum or the answer in an addition question. Here's a simple example using multiplication. We have 2 times 3 in the brackets gives us 6, and we copy down the times 4. 6 times 4 will give us 24. And our next example, we copy over the 2 times, and then we say 3 times 4 is 12, so we have 2 times 12 on our second line will give us 24. So for multiplication, the associative property says the way factors are grouped will not change the product or the answer. Here's our word problem. Jose, Talon, and William went to the park to collect ladybirds for school. Jose found five ladybirds, Tala found nine ladybirds, and William found six ladybirds. Show three ways of finding the sum for this number sentence using the associative property. Well, we have five plus nine. We add that together, gives us 14. We copy down the plus 6, so we have 14 plus 6. We're going to add those together, and that's going to give us 20. Okay, next example. 5 plus, we copy that down to the second line, so we have 5 plus, and then 9 plus 6 in the bracket. In the brackets, is gives us 15. So 5 plus 15 gives us 20. And our third example, 5 plus 6 in the brackets, that'll give us 11. And then we copy down the plus 9. So it's 11 plus 9, gives us 20. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and to check out our channel for other helpful videos. Have a great day.